Symbols are used by Masonic lodges, witch covens, Satanists, and alchemists to directly access parts of the brain which respond to strong shapes and colors. Just as the saying goes, a picture paints a thousand words, so magical symbols can be used to convey a multi-layered message or command. The use of symbols to convey the desire or will of the magician is generally referred to as sigil magic. To make a magical sigil, you first write down your desire or spell. You then remove all vowels and all repeating consonant letters. You then rearrange the remaining letters into an easily remembered symbol. This symbol, or sigil, contains the original spell. Sigils are often found in company logos. Every time you watch television, visit the supermarket, or walk the street, your subconscious is bombarded with sigils. In fact, you are living in one giant sigil.
delighted to present my latest book, In Defense of Israel. This book will expose the sins of the fathers and the vicious abuse of the Jewish people. In Defense of Israel will shape Christian theology. It scripturally proves that the Jewish people as a whole did not reject Jesus as Messiah. It will also prove that Jesus did not come to earth to be the Messiah. Jesus did not come to earth to be the Messiah. 